This tutorial continues the Level 1 Assessment Series. In this tutorial, we will review Part 4, Section A, which examines groundwater well sources. Let's turn to Part 4 of the form. If you don't already have the form, please go to the first video in this series for basic instructions. The form is always available at the RTCR website. Please notice that Part 4 consists of several questions under each section. The questions guide you through the assessment. Let's take a look at the questions under A, Source, Well. The first question asks, are any of the wells located in a pit? You may only know your well is somewhere under the parking lot or under the floor in the back room. This means it's in a pit. Here are some example photos of wells located in pits. The second question asks, are the exposed portions of the well casings in good condition? The casing is the cylinder that runs from the ground to the well cap. Your well casing may have some surface rust, which is generally okay. Check for pitting or certainly any holes in the casing. Check no if you have any question about the condition of the well casing. The third question asks, do all wells have a secured sanitary seal well cap? A sanitary well cap attaches to the top of the well casing. It provides an airtight seal using a rubber gasket. There's a small screened vent to allow for air exchange. And the seal is bolted in place. Shown is an example of a sanitary well cap. Also here is another sanitary well seal. This one is known as a compression fitting. Now here's an image of a temporary type cap that you see on many private homeowner wells. This does not provide a sanitary seal. Check no if any of your wells have this type of temporary cap or any other cap without a sanitary seal. The fourth question asks, if the sanitary well cap is vented, does the vent have an intact screen? Most sanitary well caps have a small vent to allow for air exchange. On a sanitary cap, the vent may be one or two small holes on the underside of the cap near the electrical conduit connection. Or there may be a mushroom style vent that has a screen inside as shown here. Here is a vent that is missing the screen. Check no if your vented sanitary seal is missing the screen. Check NA if your sanitary seal is not vented or if you have already determined that you do not have a sanitary seal. The fifth question asks, is there an air gap between all well vents and the ground surface? An air gap simply means that there is a space between the vent and the ground surface. Since the vent on a sanitary cap is under the cap, it is important that the casing extends above the ground. In fact, the top of the well casing should be 18 inches above grade. A well in a pit should use tubing to extend the vent above the pit surface. Check no if any of your wells do not have an airspace between the well vent and the surface. The sixth question asks about any unusual weather events. Large rain events or snow melts can impact your well depending on the grading around the well and the condition of the casing. Weather events can add to existing issues. Continuing in Part 4, Section B covers springs, Section C, surface water, and Section D is for systems that purchase some or all of their water. For the scope of this tutorial, we will not review these sections, but if your system uses any of these source types, please complete the appropriate section. If you are watching this video series for the first time, please continue to Tutorial 3, which covers Section E, treatment.